Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another workout commentary video here. This is a shoulder workout that I did the other night after a very, very, very long day. So you're not going to see the strongest of lifts here because I just finished a 12-hour shift. This was about half past 11 at night. So I was starting off here with a military press, so standing shoulder press with the barbell. Got about about 70 kilos on there at the moment. I haven't pressed as much in a while because I was doing a lot of a seated press recently um, just because of my back and everything. But now I'm back with standing press. It helps keep your core tight while doing this as well. This engages a lot of... Well, a lot more different muscles than you would think. You've got your shoulders, you've got your triceps, you've got your forearms, you've got your core. Uh, your lower back's going to come into it, your glutes as well. Try to get that stability. As you can see, I'm shaking quite a lot because I've done, as I said, I've done a lot of seated press recently. But I always start off my shoulder workouts with a sort of press variation. I alter every month. So one month I'll do dumbbell press, next month barbell press, and after that I'll do a machine press. So it's a normal pin or plate loaded um, shoulder press machine. This was the last set I did. I backed down a little bit just to... 60 kilos to get some more reps out i was very fatigued obviously very tired at this point but i managed to get through the last set i tried to do at least eight to ten but i think i only managed eight on each set just because of how fatigued i was but this was one of those workouts where i went in there i was really motivated i don't know how i'd managed to come into the gym at this sort of time after the day i had but managed to get in and get actually a really really good workout in second exercise of the night was seated uh, lateral raises what I'm doing is I'm pausing at the bottom for a split second to allow my traps and my shoulders to relax and then I will engage them again by bringing them up. Seated with this so I don't use my momentum to swing but there will be a little bit of swinging you see my chest goes up and then back down to get that momentum. But what I'm making sure when I get to the top of the movement I'm really, I'm trying to hold it there for a split second like a tiny tiny second just to really engage my shoulders. The reason you don't use momentum is of what at that point you're not using your shoulders anymore and you're just going to mess up yourself up somehow. Third movement, this was actually a superset, is front raises after lateral raises. I can tell you now, what I'm doing is these, I'm starting by my sides, I'm bringing the dumbbells into the middle, almost like a cable chest fly. This is the way to really, really burn out your front delts. You can see I'm loving this right now. Got to capture myself in the mirror there, make sure my form's tight as well. That was the end of that. And this was the final exercise of the day, which is reverse pec deck. Now with this, if you really want to hit your rear delts properly, I'm keeping a slight bend in my arm. As you can see there, it's a, nice, it's a good angle. I'm not bringing my arms out all the way because that's when you will engage more of your traps and your upper back. So if you keep your elbows at an angle like you would do if you were doing it with dumbbells as well, this is this will really burn out your rear delts. And this was the shoulder workout, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. It's another short video. I'm going to try and get a squat video filmed soon or some other chest videos or whatever you guys want. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.